A mother in Georgia was recently arrested for a surprising reason. She let her 10-year-old son walk to the store by himself. So what had happened was she took one of her kids to a doctor's appointment, and then she left her 10-year-old son at home with his grandfather. And while she was gone, the boy walked less than a mile to the store. But somebody saw him walking on the side of the road, and they called the police. So then the police come to the house, and they arrested the mother. All right, so they're arresting the mother. That's the, they're putting her under arrest. They put her in a, a police car. But I'm wondering why, why are they arresting the mother? Where was the granddaddy that she left him with? And I figure, you know what, as granddaddies always do, they fall asleep. They go to sleep. I bet he didn't even know that his grandson had left the house. So he probably was sleeping even when the police showed up. But, I, you know, when I was looking at this, I gotta say, kids today are built different. Mm -hmm. They really, really are, because I grew up in Chicago, and, uh, it, you know, 10 years old was definitely old enough to walk to the store mm -hmm. by yourself. When I grew up in Chicago, I remember I was six years old, my sister Lisa was four years old, and there was a blizzard in Chicago. My mom was pregnant, and she couldn't get to the grocery store. So we lived right across the street from the bus stop. My mother wrote out a list of what she needed from the store. <laughs> she put the list and a $20 bill in my hand, watch me and my sister cross the street and wait for the bus in a damn snowstorm. <laughs> Snow blew all the way around us, but we went to the store, we gave the list to the butcher, he gave us our spiced ham and all of the other stuff we needed, and we trudged back to the house, to the bus stop, in the snowstorm. And I even saw a neighbor, Miss Pauletta, I remember, and she didn't even drive us home. She drove right past us and waited. <laughs> Because back then, if you didn't have those tire chains on your thing, you could get snuck in the, stuck in the um, snow. So she left us. We got ourselves back home at 6 and 4, and my mother was waiting for us right at the door for us to get off the bus. Now, we made it there, and like I said, I was only 6, but that's how okay it was for a 6-year-old to be out by herself. And that's just how it was back then. You remember being little, and you could play outside all day. <laughs> when you were little. <laughs> you could be outside, and there was only one rule. Audience, what's the rule? You had to be back <laughs> before the street lights came on. You do anything, but when those street lights came on, you had to be back home. But let me tell you something. Before those street lights came on, I was everywhere. <laughs> was places I was not even supposed to be. M my mama had no idea where I was before those street lights came on. I was in people's houses. <laughs> I was in people's backyards. I was in people's cars. I swear, my mother found out where I was when I was a kid. She'd roll over in her grave right now. <laughs> Because in Chicago, see, and here's the thing, in Chicago, I don't know any other uh, city if it was like this, people had these bootleg candy stores in their backyard or in their houses or apartments. They would have them in the basements. So I would walk into people's backyards to buy candy. I went in so many basements before the age of 10. I was in, the, I was in basements, I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> but look at me now. <laughs> You ever, you ever just sit up there and go, thank you, angels, for protecting yeah. me? Oh, my goodness. And, I, and don't try this at home. I, but we did. We were going to basements, because <laughs> basements are a lot different now. I don't know what the basements are like. But this little boy was walking to the store at 10 years old. It seems fine to me. I, I feel like uh, sometimes we don't let our kids become independent. Mm -hmm. And I feel like maybe that's why our hustle as adults, as older people, our work ethic is so much stronger than the kids of today. Um, because we, we, we don't let them, every, we, we're so fearful of letting them out. And I've been guilty of that with my son. I n didn't want him to take the train. Now he takes the train everywhere. I, sometimes I'm like, that boy, where? okay, he'll be all right. Um, <laughs> so I say, we got, I say, please drop the charges for this mom. She doesn't deserve to be arrested for this. We're gonna